Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com and in today's Take 5 segment I want to show you guys how you can use Delta as a substitute if you either don't have Thinkorswim or don't know how to add the probability of being in the money for any particular option trade that you're looking at. So a question that we get often and, and I probably get at least five emails a day on this is, you know, Kirk, I don't have Thinkorswim or, or I can't figure out what the probability of my option being in the money or the probability that it's going to lose. So in this video, I want to show you how you can use a delta as a pretty rough substitute. Now, it's not going to be exact. It's not going to be um, as detailed as the actual statistic, but delta is a great tool to use so that it kind of gives you a good kind of comparing apples to apples in a sense if you don't have or again can't load the probability of being in the money. So in this example we're going to look at Apple stock. It's just a really good example because it's highly traded, lots of uh, lots of activity in the options. And you can see that these are the December contracts and these are the January. So whether you're in Thinkorswim or Schwab or Trade Monster or Trade King or whoever you use, interactive brokers, you're always going to have you know the different contract months. Now they will always give you the delta of any of the options. So that's pretty much on every broker platform. And if your broker doesn't give you delta, then you'd absolutely need to make a change. But delta is the one that they, they usually give you because it's one of the important Greeks. Now in Thinkorswim, they also give us this column that says probability ITM. So this probability that if you trade a given option, the, the likelihood that that option will be in the money ITM by expiration. So in this case, they have them both for the calls and the puts. Now, so we'll look at the one, let's look at about the 120 strikes here just for Apple, just so we can compare, again, apples to apples for January and December. But in this case, the 120 strike has a probability of being in the money, which is a little bit higher than where Apple's trading right now. Apple's trading at 116.47. But the 120 strike calls for December have a probability of being in the money of 29.81. So what that means is that there's a 29.81 or basically a 30% chance that Apple trades above and closes above 120 by December expiration, which is 30 days out. Now we can then use Delta as an approximate probability because you can see the Delta of those options is 0.32. So you can use now Delta as an approximation because the actual probability is 30%, but the Delta is around 0.32. So if you use Delta, you could say, okay, maybe there's about a 32% chance that Apple trades above 120 by expiration. If we do the same thing out in the January options, you can see that the 120s have about a 34.8% chance or about a 35% chance of trading above and closing above 120 by expiration. And you can see that the delta is a little bit higher as well. Out here, it's about 38. So again, it doesn't, it's not gonna mirror up exactly. You're not gonna have a one for one, but the deltas, if you don't have this probability calculation, give you a little bit better understanding of what your likelihood of success is on a given option. And again, it works in both directions, not only with the calls, but also with the puts. So if we look at, let's say the 115 puts for January, you can see the actual probability is about 47% and the delta is about 0.43, okay? So it's a little bit off, but it gives you a good basis and, and context for how you can determine probability without actually having that physical calculation. So hopefully this video was really helpful. As always, these take five segments are here for you guys just to take five minutes out of your day to learn one new cool thing about options trading. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them right below in the email and comment box and happy trading.